Today is the day to start the project of setting up an application in the cloud. The process begins by learning to understand the networking and security services that are required before creating the configuration for the application to reside within a cloud environment. Fast forward and we have just created the networking objects, security services, and configured the application. It is up. It's online. Connections are happening. So now I review my next task. It is to create the same application deployment in another cloud. Hmm. Now I will need to learn another cloud set of tools to build the networking objects and security services to configure the same application only in a different cloud. So depending on how many clouds my application needs to reside in, this will increase the amount of time it takes to deploy the applications. We're also facing other challenges, like managing the configurations. We may need to add another network interface for a software component, or maybe getting traffic from one side of the continent to the other, or even just getting communication from the cloud data center to our on-prem data center. These are all very complex configurations that would seem to be held within multiple roles. But in some cases, it comes down to a single person managing it all. Would it be nice to have the underlying networking objects and security services be created once and centrally managed across all clouds? I am Melissa Wentz, a solutions engineer with F5, and today we will learn why using F5 distributed cloud services as an application delivery network can create a networking and application experience that logically shifts workloads across clouds and over to their data centers with one base networking and application configuration that automatically knows how to communicate with each cloud provider. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding how F5 Distributed Cloud Services creates a consistent console for networking and application configurations across clouds, ease of connectivity between clouds and on-prem data centers, speed and team collaboration by using a simple approach and what that can do for you and your organization. Let's see what that looks like. For a client to connect to an application, there needs to be a network created for the application to be configured on. So let's get to building one. There are multiple cloud providers that all have different terminology for their networking and security objects. A couple of cloud providers call their virtual private cloud a VPC and another cloud provider calls it a VNet, and that is just for the cloud name object. Next, there are many objects underneath that need to be created for the traffic to flow to that cloud. After the base networking is created, now one must understand how to install the security software and applications to run within that cloud's network. F5 Distributed Cloud can be an overlay on top of all the networks to allow for configuration in one location and simplify the security stack. F5 Distributed Cloud Console gives the ability to configure an application in Cloud 1 and Cloud 2 through the same GUI in a browser in a seamless manner. It's sort of like booking a flight. There are multiple airline carriers that will take us from point A to point B and they each have their own websites with multiple itineraries listed. Each airline carrier will have different objects created behind the scenes, but a travel agency site overlays on top of the airline's websites. You can navigate to a travel agency website in the browser and view all the different airline itineraries and book a flight with any airline without having to go to each airline's website. F5's global network backbone privately provides the paths to connect to different clouds while also having the ability to connect to an on-prem data center for any data to travel. It's like the airways that planes fly in. The airway is made up of multiple flight paths that have been created for a plane to fly from one airport to another airport. Smaller airports may use a small amount of plane carriers, while other larger airports can have multiple plane carriers, like multiple cloud providers. There are also on-prem landing strips created for certain flight traffic that is needed to get to a specific location, or we could say an on-prem data center for the data to land. By using F5's private global network backbone, 
we can deliver reliable and secure connectivity across single clouds, multi-clouds, and on-prem data centers, while providing increased speed to get the users to their applications quicker. With the help of the global network backbone, it has multiple connection points for users to connect to, called points of presence, or POP for short. POPs are like the airports located in various places around the globe. They create a point for a user to connect to an application. So the closer a user is to a POP, the quicker the connection is created. Just like the closer you are to the airport, the quicker your commute is to get there. DevSecOps requires some form of understanding between the development team, the security team, and the operations team. Cross-training takes time and can have its challenges. By using the F5 Distributed Cloud Console, each team can create and manage their configuration by using the same management console. This provides visibility and collaboration that can bring the entire team together while still allowing each team to focus on their primary function. What this can do for you and your organization is provide a consistent console for networking and application configurations across clouds, ease of connectivity between clouds and on-prem data centers, speed, and team collaboration by using a simple approach for you and your organization. I'm Melissa Wentz. Thank you for joining me. And check out the link below for a simulation.